joining us for this episode of Beverly Hanks TV. I'm your host, Ann Aldridge, helping you to live the life you choose in Western North Carolina. Today we are exploring the fantastic music scene in Western North Carolina, and we're talking to some of the key people that make music come alive in these mountains. Real estate is about so much more than four walls and a roof. It's about how a community really lives. It's about a lifestyle. Our agents are intimately familiar with the communities they work in. They eat at the restaurants, they dedicate their time to the nonprofits, they play in these mountains. Music in our mountains is steeped in history and traditions, yet it's also refreshingly modern and constantly evolving. Today we're at the Feed and Seed in Fletcher, North Carolina, which was recently called by Southern Living Magazine one of the top ten places in North Carolina to hear bluegrass music. From intimate venues like this one, to festivals, to national recording acts, we have it all here. We love bluegrass music, and we love hearing all the traditions of our forefathers. We were at a little church that was homeless and didn't have a place to meet. We found this old building. It was for sale, but it was in bad disrepair. And we asked the owner if we could rent it cheap, but really if we could caretake it and fix it up. Then we discovered the acoustics in here are just amazing. So we thought, well, what kind of music do you do in a hundred year old feed and seed store in Fletcher, but you do bluegrass? The bands now call us, they just keep calling us. We're booked to 2013 already with bands. We love our bluegrass and our local musicians. And we're also lucky enough to attract musicians from around the globe who come here to play at large festivals and national recording acts who could record anywhere in the world but come to Western North Carolina because of the incredible area that it is. One of the great things about Western North Carolina is we've got such a great platter of traditional music that is rooted here. And at the same time, we've got a lot of organizations such as LEAF that are dedicated to bringing in outside music to complement the local music. Echo Mound Recording is a studio in Asheville, North Carolina. We've been here for six and a half years. We basically have converted a old Methodist church that was built in 1927 and the original Salvation Army building of Asheville into a studio and have over 15,000 square feet of space. People like to come here because of the vintage gear that we have. Um, between the two studios, we have analog and digital capabilities, a lot of old microphones and uh, amplifiers and guitars and things like that. But another big reason why people choose to come to Asheville to record is the city itself. In fact, I get a lot of clients who come here once to record and then come back a second time and, and build in some days off so they can actually play in the mountains here, go shopping, come with their families so that they can do some family activities, go to the Biltmore Estate. So while the, the studio itself, which can compete with any studio in New York or LA or London and places like that, is great and, and uh, people come here for that reason, they come here just as much for the city. One of the things that's great about, the, about Asheville is we have tons of talented musicians. But definitely the, the culture of the music and the people who live here, and all sorts of people are migrating here that work in the music industry um, help to kind of influence the sort of music that's made here. Not to mention there's, there's such an eclectic mix of music that happens here. I mean, everything from Shindig on the Green, which is about traditional music, to Moog Fest that happens here, to uh, the sort of bands that, that the Orange Peel is able to pull in, where people are making Asheville a stop um, on their tour. Whatever kind of music you're into, you're probably going to find it. It might be a small niche, you know, there's, the, there's a jazz society here, there's true listening rooms for singer-songwriters. There's something for everybody here, no matter what your taste is in music. That's it for this episode of Beverly Hanks TV. For more information about living in our region and joining the fun here, go to beverlyhanks.com. Be sure to join us next time as we explore the local farm-to-table movement. With mama and daddy standing by One of these mornings You're gonna rise up singing Then you're
and you spread your wings and fly to the sky.